So uh, what we can do is now um, bring up a web uh, web explorer here and what we see here is the login for Rational Team Concert. So Rational Team Concert is where we'll go ahead and uh, essentially uh, set up the plan out the iterations or the sprints in this case and assign work to different individuals. Um, this particular uh, IDE of, of RTC is the web based uh, client. We'll see a little bit later how RTC also has an Eclipse based client. Now once Bob is logged in uh, he has it set up so it goes right to his dashboard and the dashboard is completely customizable with with uh, viewlets that you can place in to see different uh, information about uh, the project. So for instance here I can see you know we really have had two sprints so far and we can see the amount of of work that was put into each one of those sprints and we can see a number of the open you know stories and what priorities they have. Now the current iteration we're on is sprint three uh, but the first thing Bob's going to do here is take a look at the product backlog and create a new story for the lap timer. Uh, so what we can do is, is go into the planned items here and once in here we can take a look at all the uh, the various work items and I'll go to the work breakdown here uh, just to kind of see uh, the different uh, epics and stories. So these these epics here are just a high, very high level organization of, of uh, different tasks, and then we have different stories. And within you know within the stories, we can have uh, you know lower level tasks as well, the actual development tasks. So in this case, we're going to go ahead. Some of the work has been done already, uh, but what we want to do is add a new story uh, for the uh, the lap timer uh, functionality. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, edit the plan here, and um, we're gonna pick the right one here. Let's edit the plan, and we're gonna go ahead and add in insert a new work item. And in this case, it'll be a story. And what we want to do is uh, just add in a, a new story for the lap timer control. And we can go ahead and uh, assign it. A certain amount of uh, story points, the amount of effort we think it'll take to do this. So in this case, we'll just say uh, eight points. We won't assign it to anyone yet, uh, but we just want to go ahead and, and say that uh, it's very high priority uh, based on the stakeholder meeting we had. We want to go ahead and, and uh, get that feature into the the application as soon as possible here. So once we've once we've done that, we can go ahead and uh, save and close uh, uh, the story here. And if we go ahead and bring up the details for this. We can now uh, add in uh, some some other types of information. So, for instance, uh, we could add in a description here. Uh, but one of the things I want to do here is is go to the links. And within the links for this particular uh, story, we can see its parent, and we'll see other uh, types of information being linked to the story later on, such as development tasks and and test execution test results and so forth. What I'm going to do now, though, is just add a link to the doors requirement. So we can go ahead and choose uh, related artifacts here. And plug in a requirement uh, uh, URL from Doors. So to get that URL, I just come back here, and I can go ahead and uh, right-click on this object, copy the URL, and now go ahead and, and paste that uh, right into here. And we'll just say that this is the Doors uh, requirement. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that information. We now have a tie between the actual story uh, that uh, we're, we're developing here and the, uh, the the requirement as well. Now the last thing we're going to do here as Bob is uh, just going back to uh, the plans again, back to the uh, the backlog, is go ahead and make sure the priority is, is set correctly here. So I can go to the uh, the product backlog, see all the various um, uh, outstanding stories that are, that are out here. We'll just go ahead and refresh this. And one of the things that we'll see here is that the new lap timer control has a little item here to tell me that this has not been ranked yet. And so since this is such a high priority feature, we're going to go ahead and take this and bring it right up to the top so that uh, uh, the development team knows that this is a, a very high priority uh, item that we need to uh, add into the stopwatch. Okay. All right, so now going back uh, uh, to the dashboard, uh, we can go ahead and, uh, again, get a gauge of where we're at in the project. But uh, at this point, I think Bob has uh, entered the necessary information uh, for Scott to go ahead now and uh, plan out uh, Sprint 3 here and start adding stories and, and tasks to that particular Sprint.